to my channel so today i'm gonna be installing this five by five closure wig y'all and this is a 28 inch wig 250 percent density with the hd lace and this wig is by Nadula Hair. So the first thing that I am going to be doing is taking a little bit of alcohol. This is 91% and a cotton pad. And I'm just going to be patting this a little bit on my forehead just to make the area nice and clean before I apply this wig. So then I just pop that wig on my head. And check out the HD lace. This wig is not even melted yet, but it's already given. Like, ugh. that's why I love HD lace, y'all. It do not take much at all to melt a HD lace. So apply this wig today. I'm going to be using my Ebon Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. This is the black one, and this one is sweat resistant. So I prefer this one over the red one. Y'all see, I haven't used anything else to apply my wigs lately. This is this Ebon Wonder Lace got me in a chokehold. <laughs> so I just go ahead and I do one layer first, and then I go ahead and I let that dry, and then I do another layer. And then I go ahead and I pull the lace into the spray and I make sure that the lace is completely on the spray. Like I just don't want no loose edges. Like I put the edges of the lace onto the edges of where the spray meets. And then I just take my um, comb. This is the, a metal tail comb and I'm just using that metal tail on the comb to like really lay it in place. In some spots the um lace didn't get any um spray so i just go ahead and i spray some more of that spray on the lace i'm making sure my part is super straight super sleek and then i'm just pulling out some baby hairs um i like to do my baby hairs i used to do my baby hairs just like straight across whenever i would pull them out but now i kind of like to go at a curve it just makes it look a little bit natural and then i'm gonna take my end is hot comb this is on the hottest setting and um i'm just hot combing the edges back y'all get y'all this hot comb this hot comb is 20 dollars my last one actually ended up stopped working. Well, it didn't start working, but I think it's like a shortage in a quarter or something. So I had to go get me another one. But they still super cheap. They're like $20 and definitely a good price for what you get. And then I take my olive oil super hole fixes spray and I'm just spraying this on my little edge comb that I got and I'm just combing my edges back to make them super sleek like I just got a fresh perm like it's giving edge control like natural edges. I just love to do this step. This is actually one of my favorite steps of a closure wig install because that just like completely sets the wig and makes the wig look super natural. And then I just take this elastic band to lay the edges down. Y'all, I've tried silk scarves. I've tried other type of edge bands, but nothing compares to this elastic band, y'all. It's just something about it that just will melt the hell out of a wig. So I highly recommend an elastic band instead of a silk scarf. Silk scarves are cool, but they don't do what the elastic bands do. So now I'm going to lay this wig down, and I'm using my She Is Bomb wax stick and my Andy's hot comb. Whenever I hot comb my wig down, I do like to go in sections. So I do about three sections. Um, This just helps to get the wig way, way, way more flatter than if you just go like straight from the top of your head. So definitely do sections whenever you hot comb your wig down. I mention this in every video, but the foundation underneath your wig plays also a really big part in how flat your wig is going to lay. You want to make sure your braids are very small or at least your, your hair or is slicked back super sleek um, so that it's super flat underneath the wig so that your wig can lay a lot flatter. <laughs> Somehow, some way, my camera went off when I was doing my baby hairs. 
So all I got for this footage is just me doing one side of my baby hair that's it. But I just do my baby hair the same all the time. Use my little curling thing, my curling flat iron, and I curl the baby hairs upward. And then I take my olive oil super health fixing spray and this little brush and I just lay my baby hairs down. Pretty much do the same thing with my sideburns. These are my own sideburns. I don't know why I just like to do this little step. It just make it a little bit more, I don't know, it just makes the wig a little bit more complete. <laughs> So today I decided to do some really cute wand curls. Oh my god, I love how my wand curls turned out. So I'm just sectioning off my hair, doing really small sections at a time, nothing major. And I'm using my olive oil super hole fixing spray to kind of um, use that as like a uh, like a hairspray before I actually curl the um well one curl the hair and this is a con air curling iron I believe this is a one inch if I'm wrong I'll leave it in the description box down below I'll leave a link to it in the description box and I'm just curling the hair I'm kind of curling it towards my face I don't know if it makes a difference if you curl it towards your face or like away from your face but I am curling curling it towards my face and I like how the resorts were so yeah I actually thought that these curls was going to be a little bit more tighter but my curling iron is kind of big so well, it's not huge but if you want like tighter curls you have to get a smaller um curling one so I'm definitely gonna give me some smaller curling ones but I still love how these curls turned out um so yeah, I'm just curling the hair and I leave the curling iron on for about maybe 10 seconds and then I just let loose of the hair. So to get my part super straight, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the shade Fun, and this little slanted angle brush, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that concealer on the brush, just a little bit, not a lot at all, and I'm just like tracing my part down my hairline um, so that it gets super sleek and very straight. I love a straight part, and then I take my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coconut is Foundation, and this little fluffy brush, and I'm just going to pounce it a little bit on the lace so that it matches better with my skin tone. And then this is just some Icy Fantasia heat protector. It kind of leaves a shine to the hair. So I just spray that to top the hair off and give this hair a little bit of shine. Okay, y'all, so this is the end of the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So this wig is by Nadula Hair, y'all, and this is 250% density, y'all. This is some thick 
hair. This gonna be my go-to wig in the winter time. Whenever it get cold outside, my hair gonna keep me warm. Y'all, I had so much fun doing this wig. I love the one curls. It turned out really, really cute, y'all. And I just love it so much. So this is 28 inches and this is a five by five closure wig. 250% density, heavy on the 250% density because that is what's making this wig right now, the thickness of this hair. Most of the wigs that I get are like 180% density. So this is just a whole nother level, y'all. If y'all are interested in purchasing this wig, which I highly recommend, um, Nadula Hair. Nadula is one of my favorite companies. Yeah, definitely check them out, y'all. I'm gonna leave the link to this wig in my description box down below, as well as all the products that I use to install this wig. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on your post notifications so you can be notified anytime that your girl posts a video. Y'all kind of feeling myself because this wig is just giving everything, like it's the curls it's the thickness it's the it's the middle part it's the buzz down it's the baby hairs it's everything y'all <laughs> yeah y'all i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one